I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. The feral swine problem in the U.S. is continuing to grow. Take a look at this graphic from USDA. All those areas shaded in blue are where feral swine have been reported, even some of them in northern states like North Dakota and Michigan. It adds up to at least 35 states. Their total population now estimated at over 6 million head and is believed to be rapidly expanding. Now experts say that's because they have been able to adapt to climates and conditions and a lack of natural predators. And here's a new use for corn residue. A company called Corn Board Manufacturing has plans to build a plant in northwest Iowa that will make a wood alternative from the leaves and stalks of corn. It will then be turned into shipping pallets. The company's CEO says construction on the 50,000 square foot plant in Odebolt will start in the spring. Now it's expected to employ 30 people and they are looking for 30 to 50 farmers to provide the plant with about 50,000 bales of corn stover every year. And for the first time, a white strawberry that smells a bit like a pineapple will be sold here in the U.S. The strawberries were created by researchers at the University of Florida. Breeders crossed white strawberries from the wild with modern strawberries to make this new specialty. Now the strawberry is white inside and out, even when it's ripe and ready to eat. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.